everyone so today I'm gonna share my April favorites with you guys and I know what you guys are probably thinking it is super late and May is almost already over but I figured I would share anyways seeing that there were a few things that I absolutely loved and I love to share them with you guys so let's begin and I'm going to start off with the non-beauty stuff first I don't have a lot but I did want to share this collection with you guys it's actually stationary and you guys know that I absolutely love stationary and I was looking for a gender neutral like writing set and I just I found the one that is absolutely perfection it looks like this and uh, Staples has actually collaborated with Paper Chase and they now have a few collections out from Paper Chase and if you don't know what Paper Chase is, it's basically like a UK based brand and they make super cute stationery. And Paper Chase is a brand that isn't easy accessible. You have to buy their things online since they are a UK based brand. But now they have collaborated with Staples so it makes things much easier. And I'm in love with all their collections. But this one in particular is my favorite. I wanted to share some stuff with you guys. So this is the writing set and this is the paper. It actually comes with two different designs but this one is the first one and this is the one that is my absolute favorite and then this is the side that you would write on so cute and then this is the other one with like a bunting design and then this is the side that you would write on and then the envelope is also so cute because you don't have to fold your letters you just place your letter inside and it's just like crisp and nice and it also came with these tags as well so I just think anybody would be really happy to receive a letter like this. So I love that. And then I kind of went a little crazy because I loved this collection. So I picked up some of their note cards. Now this is the set of 10 note cards. Five are blank and five are thank you cards with envelopes. So this is what it looks like. I love the box and I definitely will reuse this probably for like um, recipes or something like that. And these are the cards. So these are the thank you cards with the anchors. And then there's this one with like a really huge anchor. And this is just like a blank card. And then the envelopes. So those are just so cute and I can't wait to use them. And then of course I got some sticky notes because I love sticky notes. And I just loved all of the designs. And then the matching little Anchors Ahoy pen pot. You can tell it's definitely like a UK based brand from the way that they name their things. And then I also picked up, and this isn't from the same collection, but I picked up a notebook. I loved it because it's so tiny and it just fits into my purse. And it's the little details that I love. Like I love this little foiled heart and then you open it up like this and it has these little hearts here. So I fell in love. And their stuff is relatively uh, inexpensive. Like this was only like $2.99. And uh, like their little uh, pen pot. I think that's what it's called. The yeah, pen pot. This was like $2.99 as well. So um, really, really nice. And the writing set I believe was like $12.99. I think those are really good prices for the quality. Okay, so moving along. I wanted to mention this nail polish. I'm actually wearing it today. And I got this in April in the VIB sale. And I absolutely love this. I knew I was going to love this because it's such a easy peasy nail polish. And I've been wearing it a lot lately. On the days when I just want my nails to look posh and bright and uniforms but I don't really know what exactly I want to put on my nails or I just want something really quick and easy this is like my go-to this is the um, Nails Ink Nail Kill Illuminator in the shade Break Street there's only one illuminator but um, this is like the opalescent kind of shade and it does make your nails a bit more brighter and white looking and I really really love that so this is definite a favorite, and I think everybody should have something like this in their collection. Something super easy, but um, still makes your nails look really, really nice. So there is that. I also wanted to mention this. This is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. This one is in the Fruity and Cheeky Cherry Scent. Uh, it does kind of have like a cherry scent to it, but nothing like crazy or anything. But I just love the way that this performs. It just makes my hair a little bit more volumized. I can spray it on my hair right now, but it will leave like a white cast. That's the only thing. Um, I still have yet to find the um, brunette one, but you know, you just let it set and then you just kind of shake it up 
and it just gives you like texture to your hair and it's just really nice as you can see I did cut my hair um, just recently but um, when I did have my longer hair I really enjoyed this as well uh, so yeah I think it'll work a little bit better now that I have more layers to my hair but I didn't really spray a lot but it does give you like a little oomph to your hair so the next thing that I want to mention is this. This is from White Rain, and I actually picked this up at the Dollar Tree, and yes, this is a favorite. I absolutely love it. This is from their boutique collection, and this is the facial cleanser and makeup remover. I have been using this nonstop to take off my makeup. I've been also using this to clean my brushes. Actually, a subscriber mentions that this was really good to clean your brushes, and I tested it out, and yes, it's amazing to clean your brushes as well. The smell is just phenomenal like it smells so fresh and so clean and it just makes me happy I love the smell of this if they had this like in a perfume I would be a happy camper but yes I love this I love the packaging everything about it it's a dollar people dollar tree it's where it's at and then um, the next thing that I want to mention is this this is from uh, village naturals it's uh, from their therapy line and this is the restless nights relief it's a foaming bath oil and body wash now I'm absolutely in love with their Epsom salts but since it's much more warmer now uh, I don't really take baths I just like to take showers so I wanted something similar to that because I love the smell of that so they actually have a shower gel so I wanted to try it out and it smells identical to the Epsom salts it is just such a beautiful scent definitely something that is very calming it has lavender chamomile and passion fruit and it's just it's simply amazing. I love it. I highly, highly recommend everybody try this out. I think that you will fall in love with the scent, but it does foam up rather nicely. It's it's definitely a good one. I just added some dry shampoo to this side. Yes. <laughs> I love messy hair. Can you tell? The next stuff that I want to mention, I guess we will just talk about some blush. I have been loving this. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Holiday. And this is a matte shade. And it is just gorgeous. It's definitely a bright one. But it is so pretty, guys. If you love peachy, corally blushes, then you will just love this. And, you know, you can definitely add a very pigmented layer of this or you can just, like, sheer it out. And that's what I basically do. I just like to pat it on and just kind of sheer it out. And it's not that crazy. It just looks like it's coming from within. It's very, very pretty. And then this is pretty much, like, the same blush but in powder form. But this one is from Sonia Kashuk and this is the Sahara Sunset Blusher in Casablanca and first of all I love the packaging it is so cute but it just tempts me to just like dab it on with the actual packaging but you definitely can't because this is super super primitive this is like such a buttery uh, blush it is so pretty this one I would say is actually definitely more brighter since it is a powder definitely a beautiful blush but I don't know if it's limited edition so uh, definitely check out Target if you're interested in this. Another cheek product that I absolutely fell in love with is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush and Glow Trio. I got this towards the end of April but it's definitely a favorite and I have to mention it to you guys because I believe this is limited edition and just in case I want you guys to get your hands on it. So this is the Fair Trade Coffee Color Icon Trio and here it is there. I love it because it comes with a beautiful beautiful like satin hot pink blush and then it comes with a beautiful matte bronzer that's not too dark so it's very forgiving especially if you're someone not really used to bronzer and you kind of can get carried away with it this is perfect and then this highlighter is just glorious it is so pretty it's very like ba bam you can definitely like sheer it out and it has like a beautiful multi shimmer to it so let me just swatch them for you guys so this is the blush that's the blush there and then the bronzer the bronzer is very very subtle so you're probably not going to be able to see that 
but there it is it's slightly darker than my natural skin color and then this highlighter and you know what wild is so buttery so that is the highlighter there it is so let me do like a close-up. So that is the trio there. Hopefully you can see this beautiful highlight. Yes. <laughs> this is displayed with another trio. It comes with like two bronzers. It comes with like a bronzier type of highlight and then a matte bronzer, I believe, and then like a peachy blush, I want to say. But this is the one that definitely drew my attention because I knew I would get more use out of this one. And then as far as lips go, I do have a few favorites. I went kind of crazy in April with lip products, but uh, actually my friend sent me this. This is from um, Melissa's line. This is the Melissa Altry line from um, Mel and Peach. I asked here on YouTube, and this lipstick is so beautiful. This is in the shade Pink Power. I wore this, I don't know, a lot, like crazy a lot. This is such a wearable pink. It's literally the perfect pink. It's not too bright, it's not too dark. It's the perfect mid-tone pink, and it will look good on so many people. And let's talk about the formula. The formula is so creamy, and it's non-drying, and it's very opaque. Actually, I would say that the formula of this is very similar to the NARS Audacious Lipsticks, and I absolutely love them. The pigmentation is just the bomb. Let me do like one swatch. You can see that the pigmentation is just crazy. That's one swatch. It is so good, guys. Love this lipstick. So these are a few inexpensive lipsticks that I have been absolutely loving. Um, these are from the brand Essence. I love the formula of these. I love the colors. I have a bunch of these, but these are my favorite, so I wanted to share them with you guys. These are called the Long Lasting Lipsticks from Essence. So let me just swatch them. This one is in the shade Natural Beauty, and this is like a mauve shade. So there it is there, that is Natural Beauty. And then this one is I Am Yours. And this is like, like a berry red kind of shade. There it is there. And then we have Love Me, which is such a pretty pink shade. I will swatch it right here. There it is. These are so pretty. They are, I wouldn't say they're they're the most long-lasting lipstick. However, they do leave a stain. So that's probably why they call it a long-lasting lipstick. But they are so pretty and the colors are just on point. And this one is Coral Calling. I love this one. And that is Coral Calling. Oh yes, you guys have to get your hands on these. So pretty, so inexpensive. I think I'm going to get the nude one next and I probably will be like content with the ones that I have. And then lastly for lip products is this one and this is also from Sonic Hatrick. And where's the name? What are you called? This is the Sahara Sunset Shine Luxe Sheer Lip Color in Eden. And this is again just like a really nice coral color it's sheer but it does have pigment to it it is so pretty and so glossy and just kind of like an everyday kind of color that's what it is right there hopefully you can see that it is so pretty guys and again I don't know if this collection is limited edition but I love everything that I have from this collection but the blush and this little lip product here are my favorite Okay, one foundation that I want to mention is this one. Now, I have been using the Cover FX uh, foundation, but I'm going to talk about that more in my May favorites because I found more combinations that I absolutely fell in love with in May. Uh, and we're talking about April favorites here. So, I want to mention this foundation, though. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation with SPF 15. First of all, this foundation smells amazing and I know it's kind of weird to like mention that but it really really does it's like 
putting like a spa on your face. I don't know how they did it, but it smells really good for like an e.l.f. product. But the coverage is really, really nice. It's a medium type of coverage. I definitely feel like this is more of a hydrating foundation. So I, I don't know. I don't know if people would fall in love with this that have more oily skin, even though this is oil free. But I do feel like this gets a little bit more oily during the day. And this goes for like, even if I'm not wearing like a hydrating primer because I do have dry skin, I have wore this alone, which is like a normal type of primer or no primer at all. And this still uh, translates a little bit oily during the day. So I don't know if this would be suited for everybody, but for me, I really do like it. It gives like a really nice radiant dewy kind of finish, which is what I'm always looking for. So I do like this a lot. I've also really been enjoying this concealer. This is from Physicians Formula, and I feel like as far as the drugstore goes, that Physicians Formula makes amazing concealers. I have a few of them that I absolutely love, and I love this one specifically because it comes with just like your typical neutral kind of concealer and then a more yellow tone to cover like underneath your eyes. So I love that. This is definitely like a high pigmented uh, kind of concealer so it will cover up everything so uh, you definitely do need to set this with a powder though but if you're looking for like a high pigmented kind of concealer this is really a great one and it's all in one so I really really like that and actually lately like today all I did was put concealer on the spots that I needed to conceal and I didn't put any foundation so I wanted like a really just natural kind of face today so basically all I have is like blush and bronzer and concealer and that's about it no foundation no BB cream just concealer and I just like kind of powdered the spots that I put concealer and that's it people and I really like it. I also wanted to mention this because as you guys know I've been trying to go for like a natural look, less makeup, especially during the very hot months. It's just not fun wearing a lot of makeup so I've just been making my life easier. So like I said I just conceal, add powder, and everything else and I feel like when you add like color to your face it just kind of like balances everything out and you know for like a day-to-day -day kind of thing you don't have to wear like a full face of makeup in my opinion so I've been loving this for like my under eyes just to like make myself look a little bit more awake and this is the it cosmetics CC plus eye it's similar to the CC plus uh, the CC cream uh, from it cosmetics that everybody loves but this is especially for your eyes. It's a metal applicator that is very cooling to the touch and it is and I love the smell of this. It's very like eucalyptus so it reminds me of the spa and it has like really fine like shimmery particles that just kind of gives your eye like a very glowy kind of look and I really really love this so I definitely have been enjoying this and it's just super nice when you don't want to wear a lot of makeup but you want to make yourself look awake and alive and like you're ready for the day next let's talk about some eye palettes shall we so I don't think I've ever mentioned this palette actually to you guys this is the Vegas Lights palette from Makeup Geek and I'm not sure if this is still available but I'm sure you can find this on eBay or Amazon places like that uh, but this is such a stunning palette and I do believe I saw this on the Makeup Geek website so I do believe it's still available but um, I just love the colors here it's very warm I'm actually wearing the shadows today and you know I I always typically go for like a more like diffused kind of look I don't really like pack on the shadows I just like a very like blended out diffused like blown out kind of look that's the looks that I typically go for if you guys have noticed but um, I really love the warm looks I feel like it definitely brings out the brown in my eyes and just warms up the face and it's just very flattering so um, I've been really enjoying this palette and I I still have been using this um, all through May so this is like an April and May favorites actually 
but this is just like such a like summery palette. I just love the color combinations and you can never go wrong, you know, with whatever color combination you choose. Kind of like the next palette I'm going to show you. So this is the Anastasia Artist Palette and I did do a video on this palette, not like a review or anything like that. It was just like a lookbook sort of thing. So I featured four looks in that video, but I got to say I've been having so much fun with these colors and uh, my favorite color and I'm sure uh, this is a lot of people's favorite color but this is fresh and it's such a unique bright color like you think that this isn't going to be high impact color but it is and there it is I mean it's very similar to uh, the color of my skin but when it's on your eyes and especially when you like mix it with uh, like punch fuchsia or unicorn it just makes the color pop so I've been really really loving this palette uh, I would have to say like of course I love fresh because it's such a unique color but the one that I always like gravitate towards is orange you fancy because I don't know I love orange you guys I'm just in this total like orange kick so I have been absolutely loving this and I thought that this was like a palette that um, I knew I was going to love it, but I wasn't sure how much use I was going to get out of it. And I have to say, I've been using this palette a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So even though it's bright, there is a few like neutrals in here that tone down the colors as well. So this is definitely a keeper in my collection. So those are my favorites. Let me know what you were loving in the month of April or what you're loving now. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.